our video content takes our work to the next level because it promotes continuity, gives our videos a professional edge, and most importantly, lets our audiences know who's behind all that hard work. Now, branding can come in many forms, from the way you edit, to the type of content you produce, to the visual elements you place on your video. This week, we're talking about branded multi-layer titles and how you can create and save them in LumaFusion for use time and time again. The way we do this is to create what's called a title preset. So let's start from the basics of adding a title and building up to making and personalizing our own. There are a few ways to add titles to your project in LumaFusion. So firstly, you can add a title with plain text on screen like this by tapping the add clip icon down here on the bottom of the timeline and tapping main title, which will jump onto the main track like this. Or you can tap overlay title to add a layered title to your project. Now these two are essentially the same thing, but one is layered and one is not. They can both be moved position on your timeline as you see fit. The second way to add a title in LumaFusion can be found under the title tab in the editor's media library. Here we have the option to choose from a range of ready-made titles to place onto our content. These have all been designed for you to use when you need a quick colorful graphic. You can see there are options to choose titles with just text by itself or text and shapes together. You can pick which suits your project best and the look you're going for. Whichever you choose, these are all easily dragged and dropped onto the timeline like we would do a video or image. To edit a title, double tap on it to open up the title editor and cast your eye to the right of the screen. We can see in this title I've chosen, it's made up of three shapes, a circle and two rectangles and two layers of text. By tapping into each layer, I can modify each part, changing elements like the shape and color from the drop down menu. With the text layer, I can change the wording by tapping on the pencil icon here, where a keyboard will automatically pop up and I can type what I want it to say, or I can even speak into the device with this icon. So here we can see we can personalize the title however we like, having full control over the colors, shapes, sizes, and shadows. We can even add more layers to it using this plus icon and adding text, shapes and images. Any new bits we add in like this shape that I've made into a line here by tapping on the selected shape at the top of the screen simply joins the other title layers to make up the graphic. We can change the order by closing these tabs and dragging the far right of each tab up and down. This controls which layers are in front and behind each other. Now, ready-made titles like we've just seen are fantastic for one-off videos where we need a quick and easy graphic on the go. But when you're producing a series of videos or you're producing videos through your brand, you're going to want your own font, your own colors, your own graphics, your own style. So in that case, you need to make your own titles. To do so, we're gonna make a title preset together. So I'm going to make an example one here. Now, of course, you'll have your own style and the way you like things to look. So follow along with me at home if you fancy. So I'm going to add a main or an overlay title here. It really doesn't matter which and enter the title editor. Now here we can see, as we've been here before, I can simply build my own title using a variety of shapes, layers of text and even images. So in this example, I'm going to make a like and subscribe graphic to encourage viewers to support my channel, which I'll drag and drop onto the end of my content every single time I make a video for this brand. So you can see this is a good idea for a title preset because it's something I'm going to be using again and again and again. Doing this here, you can see how quickly I can build up a personalized branded graphic. So here I'm thinking of my brand's color and style, putting careful consideration into the vibe my graphics give off and whether it represents my content or not. So please keep this in mind as you're working on your own. Now, if you're using a specific font for your project or brand, you can also bring this into LumaFusion by sharing from a third party app, downloading from cloud storage or importing from your files app. It's really quick and easy to do, but for in-depth step-by-step guidance on this, please check out this tutorial on our YouTube page. So once you're happy with how your title looks like this, this save preset icon here with the star and plus sign will enable you to save this title of your own for future use again and again. So here you can see I want to save this collection of title layers to use again. So I'm gonna save this by tapping the save preset and I'm going to rename it. So let's say like and subscribe, something memorable. And now we can see this title appears in the user titles area here at the top right of the editor. Back in the media library, we can see the title we've just made is at the top of the title tab here, ready to be inserted into future projects as and when I need. 
Now, at any time we can edit this title further. So for example, adding another piece of text or playing around with the size and position on screen. But it's really important to note that these differences will not alter the originally saved title, which is kept safe and sound with its original properties in the title editor. Title presets are also great if you're working with another LumaFusion user like a colleague, as you can share these between devices. So to do this, open the title editor, tap and hold your title and press share to send it straight to them ready for use. On the other hand, if you want to delete a title and start again, simply tap, hold and press delete. Now, of course, you can produce a whole host of title presets for different reasons. Maybe a border, maybe a call to action, maybe a subscribe button, maybe an Aston bar. There's so many different graphics that you can produce. But what I would say at this stage is when you have some time, start thinking about the branding that you want to have for your own company, for your own series of videos, for your own organization. Think about the colors, think about the font, and when you have some time, start to build up that bank of title presets. This will save you a hell of a lot more time in the future when you're producing content on the go and you need to produce some creative stuff really, really quickly. For more tips, tricks, and techniques from the Luma Touch Academy, or just to brush up on your editing skills, join me over for our live Zoom training workshops where you can book via our website. Any questions at all about title presets, please do pop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. And of course, I'll see you right here next week for more content from the Luma Touch Academy. Mm -hmm.